I'm Freddie Negretti. Uh, currently, I'm working at Shamrock Tattoo in West Hollywood, California. What is my favorite style of tattooing? I would have to say it's always has been and always will be uh, Japanese style. Just the size and the stylized form of art just blew me away and I just think it's beautiful. So it, it remains to be my uh, favorite style. What style of tattooing am I uh, known for? Black and gray style, uh, realism. And uh, of course that's largely because I was uh, one of the ones that introduced uh, black and gray style, prison style tattooing to the professional tattoo world. It's, it's the style I most enjoy doing. Between the two, color and black and gray, um, you know, I enjoy doing black and gray better. I, I feel like uh, it, you know, in the long run, you know, it seems to last better. It softens over time. It looks good. I really love color as well, and I enjoy doing color. I've always, you know, tried to uh, be willing to do color and have it in my uh, forte of styles of tattooing. But uh, I think I prefer black and gray. Three of my all-time favorite tattoos that I've done. Of course, uh, the one would be uh, this uh, back piece that I did. Ed Hardy kind of helped me along with it. Uh, I did a big black and gray Madonna with uh, two colored faces, a colored skull and a, a, a colored face on the other side and colored roses on the background. So I mixed black and gray and color. And as far as I know, that was uh, that tattoo was uh, one of the first attempts by anybody to uh, try to do realism with color. There's two other tattoos that I've done recently because, you know, I went through my own transformation in my later life. You know, I had my, my problems. I went back to prison. I had my drug problems and everything. And, and uh, when I got sober six years ago, I really fell back in love with my work, uh, with tattooing and I really focused and, on what I was doing and I was also teachable, you know, I started seeing what these young people were doing uh, today and, and so uh, I was learning, you know, and um, so a couple of the things that I did, I did a gangster sleeve on this kid and it's all the images that, you know, I've done for years since I was a teenager, really, you know, the, the clown girl and the smile not cry later and this, the skulls, cars, all those things. But uh, I don't get too much request for that, you know, today and the work that I'm doing today. But so it was cool f to have this guy and come and want all those old images, uh, you know, done by a new Freddy, so to speak. So uh, my gangster sleeve and then <clears throat> also this sleeve with uh, Ganesh and these Buddhas and uh, you know all this stuff with tons of little detail you know and it took hours upon hours but it was kind of reminiscent of what I used to do and it was good doing something like that here recently and in the 70s you know <clears throat> we didn't even we didn't have a copy machine you know uh, we had some books but you know, there was no stencil, thermograph machine, anything like that, you know. We did everything freehand, you know. And for us, it was important to, like, be able to create these images out of your mind, you know. Like, um, you know, if you want to do a tiger, then you need to be able to bring a tiger out of your mind, you know. And, and of course, we used to do some really beautiful tattoos like that. But <clears throat> I've learned over the years that to get something really realistic, you need some kind of a reference. You know, now the references are just unlimited, you know, and, and I'm all set up with my iPod, uh, and I get references. I still draw a lot of things out of my head and freehand things and stuff like that, but <clears throat> I think it's best, you know, for the tattoo, you know, for the final look of the tattoo, to have, especially if you're doing realism, you know, have some kind of reference, you know. You gotta try to make it original and make it your own, and. And do whatever you can to coach people into seeing their tattoo as something special just for them, you know, something individual. How does somebody get an appointment with me? Well, <clears throat> they can call Shamrock Tattoo in uh, West Hollywood. That's 310-271-9664. And uh, just say you want to make an appointment with Freddie. Or you can email me at freddynegretti19 at gmail.com. Um, I prefer the emails because I like to see what, what pictures people have and what they want to get. 
you know, and uh, so and I'm about uh, two or three months out right now, so you can get in. I'm Fred Nguyeni, and thank you for checking out my portfolio. Um, and I remember just not too long ago, I mean, and people would come in off the street and say, hey, do you guys have the internet here? You know, and be like, huh? Uh, we don't got no internet here, you know? It's like, we had a library of books that we use reference for.